What is up guys, Ronnie here. Welcome back to the channel. This is the right place for you to learn anything about Canva. Today, I have a very special tutorial for you. We are going to learn how to design animated Facebook ads. So ads that are moving and catching your viewers' attention in Facebook newsfeed. So if you want to learn how to design an ad like this one or this one, I suggest you stick around and we are starting from the Canva editor right now. All right, so this video is going to be segmented into three steps. And if you stick around until the end of the video, I have a very special bonus for you. I'm not going to say much more, but this is going to help you create your Facebook ads and kind of spy on the competition to discover anything that your competitors are posting in terms of ads on Facebook. I'm going to show you this and this tool at the end of the tutorial. So stick around. All right, so let's get started with our ad. So I'm here on the Canva homepage and the first thing I want to do is to search for a template. So I'm going to type in right here, Facebook ads, and you can see that you have different things here. I'm going to go for Facebook feed static ads. So 1080 by 1080 is a square format. So clicking on that, I want to promote my pet food company and the fact that we deliver super fast. So I really like this ad here, this template of the cat. So I'm going to click on this one and this is going to be our base. So we are going to work with this cat. It looks a little bit like hungry. Uh, Where's my food, dude? So we are going to start with him or hit. I don't know if we say him for a cat. Let's assume he's a he. So a few things I want to show you first. I want to decompose this. So there's a text box which is grouped. You can see two different lines and I like how the designer who created this like switched the color so we have out of in black and then pet food in white so it stands out we know what we are talking about we're talking about pet food obviously there is a photo of the cat and then we have these two things here we have this thing right here kind of like a shape I'm gonna put it back where it was because I like the way it looked and then we have another one here which is another shape so all this looks pretty good so I don't think I need to reinvent the wheel I will keep what I like from this template so second step customize this template that we like so what I'm going to do is to just simply add a page okay we keep the cat so I'm gonna copy this cat and paste it here I also want these two things here I want the two shapes so I'm selecting one and then holding my shift button, selecting the other one. I'm gonna group them so they don't move. And again, I'm selecting the group now, copy it, and I'm gonna paste it, command V on this other page. All right, I also like the text, so I'm gonna take everything. It's grouped, but I'm just going to copy this. So for this same thing, command C, going to my other page, click command B. Okay, out of pet food, we deliver in 60 minutes. All right, so that's one. Let's say I want to create a series of different ads. So let's recreate this. I'm gonna copy this, get rid of the cat, make sure you select the right element before you delete. And let's create one version of this by changing a few things. So let's say orange color is for the cat because you see this orange color in the cat's eye, which looks nice and consistent with the color here. So I want something different color for another animal, let's say a dog. So the first thing I want to do is change these colors. So we see we have an orange and then we have like a paler orange. And that gives this cool look when we mix these two shapes together. So I'm going to continue this idea of having a darker color for this shape, but I want a different color. Let's say I want something in the purplish. So I'm gonna go for this one, maybe this one. All right, this looks cool as well. I like this combination of color. Of course, at this stage, you can use your brand color. You can use whatever you have already in store for you in terms of colors and your color palettes. So continuing with my idea of finding a dog. So I'm gonna go to my elements and search for Chihuahua scared. And I'm gonna filter by photos. So I have this guy right here, could work. So what I want is something that will stop the scroll, right? This cat is definitely gonna stop the scroll because he's funny, like his eyes are really funny. So I need a cute dog basically. I guess this guy right here is pretty cute, right? So I can make him bigger. Okay, I can go like this. So you can see that this photo has a wide background. So I could get rid of the background with the background remover if I have a Canva Pro account, which I do here. And by all means, if you want to try Canva Pro, we will have a link for you in the description to try it for free for 45 days. So just 
try it on. If it's for you, then you can continue. I highly recommend Canva Pro, ton of value. And the first one that I can think of is the background remover. So let me show you how it works. Just click on the photo, click on background remover, and I can see something cool I could be doing with this puppy because you can see we have his pow like this, flip him. Okay, I don't want to take too much space of the text right here. So maybe I can flip this image. I'm gonna select the image, go to flip and flip horizontally. Now it looks cool like this. I can make it bigger like so. Okay, so one thing I'm going to do is also make this thing here slightly bigger. So I have more space for the doggy, slightly higher. So I leave more room for my text to breathe. Super important to leave room for your text. I can get rid of the first page. All right, I'm happy with my dog photo, my cat photo. Now I want to get into the third part of this tutorial, which is adding motion to the ad, right? So we get the viewer's attention in Facebook newsfeed. We want to stop the scroll. So first we stop because this cat is funny and this dog is cute, but also I want to stop the eye and get people's attention because things are moving. So I'm going to add a few things to make this more interactive, more animated. All right. The first one in my elements, I'm going to search for doodle and I'm going to filter this by animated apply. I want something to emphasize the 60 minute here. So this could work. You see, it's kind of like an underline. I'm going to take this. It's still too big. Zoom in a bit. I want to emphasize the 60 minutes. Okay, looks good for my cat. And I need another one. I'm going to use a different one for the dog. Something similar like this, for example. This will work just fine. So making it smaller and I bring it here 60 minutes. Okay, so that's the first thing. That's very subtle though. It's not going to make such a huge difference. But what I can do is to add something here in the background as well. So basically what I'm trying to do here is to add a color to the background. But for that, I need the cat to be isolated. So if you don't have Canva Pro, you won't be able to do that that easily. But you can find other ways to add motion here. You, for example, you could add a sticker on top of it. It won't look as subtle as what I'm trying to achieve. But that's another solution for me because I want to take full advantage of the pro. I'm going to get rid of this background. Okay, so background remover on the cat. There we go. Okay, so now I just need to push this cat forward, backwards. All right, now it looks great. I have my cat photo here. Let's center this. So what I can do now is to add the little subtle color in the background. So for doing this, I need to click on the background. So I, I had to move the cat a little bit. I'm going to click on that orange. Then I'll click on the color wheel right here, the color button, and I will slide it to the left, meaning I'm adding some white in this orange until it's almost white, but it's kind of like a cream color, like so. This is good. I like that. Okay, now I need to click on the cat, which is below everything here. Okay, it's here. So I'm going to move it up and then bring this back up for now. All right, this is what I wanted to do. I have my color here. So for the doggy, we already got rid of the background from the image. So all I need to do is to click on the background of this design. So to do so, I had to move things around a little bit and that's okay. I will readjust in a second. So you see, this is grouped anyway, so it's going to be easy for me to move around. So what I can do is move the dog slightly, find the layer with the background, and I'm going to do the same. Go with this base and then the color button and slide this towards my white. Okay, now I need to adjust my design. Okay, I have my dog, I have my background. So now I can come back to my initial idea. So I'm going to search for doodle and filter with the graphics only and animate it. Let's do this. So for the cat, I'm going to use these stars, make that almost full screen. Don't go full screen because then it snaps to the background and then you position this to the back. Okay, this looks good. And what you can do is to add some transparency to this. So it's more subtle. So look at this. Now I have my animated background, I have this animation as well. And the last thing I can do to animate this ad is to use the animate button. So the animate button gives me a bunch of different options, you can preview them just by hovering over them. So I have my block. So the block animation works for text only. See if I go here, this is what's going to happen like this transition of a block 
kind of showcasing my text. And here under the animations, you have some free ones. And then the ones with the little crown means they are pro only animation. So basically, if you don't see a crown, that means they are free animation. For me, I'm going to go with block, make sure you click on it. Okay, and this ad is ready. It's customizing this one right now. So I'm pretty much going to do the same thing. So adding a doodle in the background, something like this, maybe one here. And I'm going to duplicate this by holding my option button and moving it around like so. One more here, maybe one here. I change this, making sure I'm pushing this backwards all the way back each of them so now i have my little flowers here for doggy i have the stars for cat there's one more thing i want to do to kind of customize this even further i'm going to search for a timer this is what i'm looking for i want this to represent like your food in 60 minutes so what i will do is reduce this of the size of the o right here pretty much and i'm going to replace my o with a timer. So for this, I'm going to place it here first and then going to my text, I'm going to delete the O and I'm going to add some space We're using my space bar. Now I can simply adjust this slightly. Let me zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, out of pet food, this looks great. So this adds a level of animation and I can do the same here. So two ways of doing this, I can either reproduce the same thing and do it again or I can simply copy this. I will make sure to include this little timer right here by holding my shift key and clicking on this. Now I have the group plus the timer. So I'm going to control C, command C and coming here, deleting all of this and just pasting the other one. Perfect. Now let me zoom out. I forgot one thing here for the doggy. I forgot to apply my effect. So I'm going to click on the background like so animate. I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go for pop for the dog. And now I think we are good to go. We have our two different images. They look cool. They look cute. They will stop the scroll and they are animated. All right. So from here, you're almost ready. So two things I want to do. First, I want to make sure I'm exporting this in the right format. So the way to do this, you go to your download. I'm going to download them but individually I want page one and then I will come again and do page two All right let's go for page one download so it's gonna be downloading in the meantime you remember I told you I want to show you a tool so that you can see every single ad your competitors are posting on Facebook. So that will give you some inspiration, understand what your competitors are doing in terms of ads, in terms of creatives on Facebook. So let's go to this. So you want to be searching for Facebook ads library. You click here and basically this is a Facebook tool. So it belongs to Facebook. You see the official Facebook logo here. You can search by country, which is great. And you can search by ad category. I go for all ads. And so what I want to do, I want to know who is the biggest pet food supplier. So pet food Australia, I'm here in Australia. So I see the first one and they advertise on Google. So I assume they will be advertising on Facebook as well. You can see it's an ad because it shows up first and it says ad. So it's petcircle.com. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. So pet circle. Facebook is going to recognize and find it pet circle. All right. So I click on this and now I can see all the ads that pet circle is running on Facebook. This is awesome. This is really cool because it gives me a ton of inspiration. So for example, here, and I can see the copy they use as well. I can even copy it if I want to just select the text and you can copy. So that's great. Let's watch this ad. So you see it's kind of like a photo slider of cute dogs using their product. So this is pretty cool. Let's watch another one. Yeah, so I think I'm in the right spot with my ad. Let's go back to Canva. I'm going to click on it. There you go. Our ad is ready. All right. So all I need to do now is just hop onto Facebook, go to my Facebook page and start creating an ad based on that particular creative I created in Canva. And that is the end of the tutorial. Thank you for watching until the end. By all means, if you like it, smash that like button so we get more visibility. Click on that button right here to subscribe or watch one of these videos to learn something new. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.